Uh, what's up, my friends? Welcome. We're kind of like touring standard a little bit right now. We're playing the next did well at the RC. This is the guy that came in fourth place in the hand of Joseph Car Carani. And uh, this was actually really cool. It's sort of like if you took the Grixis deck and the Mono Red deck and just smushed them together. Um, kind of have a very aggressively slanted Rakdos deck, but it's still playing actual good cards. Like, it's not playing Phoenix Chick. Uh, <laughs> so we still have Fable. We still have Trespasser. We still have Shieldred and Blood Tithe Harvester. And honestly, though, all these cards are fairly aggressive. This, make, makes, this deck makes a much better use of a life loss from both Trespasser and shoulder because it's very aggressive it also forces your opponent to use your kill spells early so these will live live better and then this is also just a three power creature for two but that has a lot of aggressive cards too uh four kamano faces kaka zan four monster so spear actual burn spells in play with fire we see bloodthirsty adversary here good on turn two or turn five which is awesome and then a few actual kill spells so unlike mono red this deck can kill Shieldred. So this deck's pretty sweet, honestly. Pretty pretty interesting take on the on the uh, archetype. And the big one here also is the four Razor Lash Transmorgans in the board. Uh, very good against Grixis or any mid-range deck as a recurring threat, which is super cool. And then Vampire's Vent is very good against the aggro decks. Honestly, a very creative, innovative brew and came in fourth place in the RC in Canada. So let's play uh, let's play some games. But I want to remind you all, this is important. This Saturday, I'm going to be at the... Too, uh, sorry, not too many games. Uh, the Long Island Tabletop and Gaming Expo. Uh, it's a really awesome event on Long Island. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it's going to be really fun. I'm doing a panel on, sa on Saturday evening at 7 p.m. Uh, five pieces of advice for aspiring content creators. should be a lot of fun, and I'll be hanging out all day, obviously, so I'm happy to say hi and sign stuff or whatever. It's cool, too. So check it out uh, on Long Island if you're obviously in New York on Long Island, somewhere near the area. Uh, tickets are still available. It should be a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, honestly. Check that one out. I'll also be at Command Fest in Orlando, which is pretty cool. That'll be uh, a little later on. Same thing. I'll be there all weekend hanging out. And it's uh, pretty cool when I'm playing an event and I'm not playing, like a PT or an RC, uh, because I can actually hang out and talk and sign stuff and hang out, and which is pretty cool, too. So that's great as well. So all by verse. Cool events coming up. Busy, busy, busy. All right. Chat coming out me. Uh, this is not the aggro curve we're looking for. We are going to mulligan this hand, I think. Uh, I don't know. It's, like, close, I guess. We're not, like, mono where we, like, have to have a good curve. So we can we, we can we can win a longer game, too. But I think this hand is just, like, a little too bad. So we're going to mulligan. <laughs> sure. Honestly, worse, but now, now that we're on six, we're going to keep. Got yeah, the Crucible. We have a four drop. One drop, two drop, four drop. Keep. I mean, this hand at least draws better. Where, like, we have a one drop, and then if we can just draw cards to fill out our curve, like, any card will fill out our curve. Whereas uh, the other hand needed to draw two drop, you know? Let's keep this. Ship Mountain. I've seen better, but I've seen worse. Come on, oh. Bink! Card's great. Really good card. Zap, 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 zap. Don't whiz on the electric fence. All right, so unfortunately, we, we miss our creature, which sucks. So we lose the uh, chapter on that, which is pretty bad. So drawing a few shocks here is not ideal either, unless they're playing hu humans or something like that, or soldiers or whatever, but we'll see. Esper. This is bad. Uh, we are in trouble. <laughs> Mulligan draw double shock is not a good place to be. Draw a creature, return after our trigger, so everything going wrong here for us. Attack for two. Cut down? Go for the throat. Wow. So this is what I was saying about Shieldred being really good in this deck, is that your opponents are highly incentivized to use their kill spells early, because they don't want to die. Therefore, that go over the throat killed a two-drop. Now it's not killing Shieldred. So pretty cool deck building. Loran of the Third Path. I think we just blood our land. Could want to play with fire, honestly, but a play with fire is pretty bad, actually. Yeah, let's screw this. I was drawing land, land, land now, but yeah, obviously, like this, you know, never, never not drawing land there. But sure, all right, I'll kill this. Play another harvester. Hand is not great, but we'll do our best. Ruin Gaming says, Jim, I'm trying to prep Explore for the qualifier next weekend. 
Would you have a quick hit on what the best decks are? Uh, mostly similar to, um, to Pioneer. I haven't played Explorer a little bit, honestly, so I don't have great advice for you, but not too much different. We draw a Bloodthirsty Adversary. Damn. We can attack, I guess. Ugh. So we can, like, Adversary, Flashback, Play of Fire, target the Shield Root, and then just Leroy. The problem is, how are we going to win the game, like, going forward? Uh, but again, like I said, we, we do have ways to kill this in our deck, which is pretty cool. Um, if I attack with both, and they... They probably just won't block. And then what? You know? Then we, so I think we just I think we just do it. We just jam here, I think. There's no way they ever block here. Like, in a million years. Uh, so... I could also sack both Harvesters and then Adversary to kill it. That's a huge loss of resources. Um, yeah, I would say there, there's there, I would say there's no chance they block here. Like, literally no chance. So, we're going to do this. Just look at it from the, the opponent's point of view. We're playing a red deck. We have literally one card in our hand. And Shieldred is destroying us. Why would you ever lose Shieldred to like a random kill spell here, you know? So, let's do this. Just hope we draw our rules off a shoulder next turn. Or can push enough damage through. Or draw our own shoulder, too. We ain't winning the game with the cards we already have. So we gotta draw something. So. Let's put, a new, put ourselves in a good spot. How about a swamp? How about a swamp? Alright, blood it. Ay ay ay. Alright. Alright. We had lethal if they didn't have a uh I guess I'm sorry, I guess they had the plaza up too, but Alright, so you go. Am I gonna get a snap stream? Probably never. I enjoy playing snap for myself. It's important when you're a content creator to be able to uh separate your content from the your own personal stuff. I'm not gonna play every game that I enjoy to play on stream because I wanna have things for myself also. Denic, that's pretty good. Draw land. All right. Town to 11. Discard this. I might at some point. Obviously, I would kill it to a sponsored snap stream, but... ay yi yi All right. Uh, I think that's probably it for us here, unfortunately. We did mulligan this game, you know. Hand was a little awkward, but... So you go. Yeah, they have plasma protected also, so just getting a soul by shoulder here. It's obviously frustrating for an aggro deck, but... Oh, no! This can't be good for us. So they have the lifelinker also. They are shields down on, on Shelly for Plaza. All right. Party block. Pop quiz, hot shot. They have a Ganjo. It's good. Alright. Uh, we need a lot of help here, folks. The old Swifty's not a lot of help. I think we're dead. Uh, truth be told, but what are you gonna do? Shoulder's still good against aggro decks, even decks that can kill it. it just uh, is what it is. We. Oh my god. Obviously, they're good next game. They got us. All right, tough. Uh, yeah, not ideal. Let's see what the old sideboard has in store for us. We've got another go for the throat, which is good. Um, do we want the razor lashes against them? Maybe. Brain vampires, bank buster. The thing is, do we do we want to do we want to like lean into the mid range stuff and bring in like the bank busters and stuff, or do we want to be <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Shady Braid. I definitely want these Razor Lashes, I think. I think we're going to try and go under them, yeah. Uh, I want to go for the throats. I think we want to cut the play of fires. Um, bring in all of these... 24 lands, Swiss beer, Kamanos, cut down. 
I'm going to shave an adversary or two now. We've cast some of our spells also. And maybe bring in the soul transfer too. Just like extra way to kill shield druid. Can kill their larger creatures and then can get some value too with our artifacts and enchantments and stuff. I like that. We actually have like eight artifacts and enchantments effectively. So I'm going to leave Bankbuster out though. I think I want to uh, be more aggressive. I'm not going to bring in Duress either. A um, lot of their important cards are creatures, so. Sure. Not a great hand, but fine. I don't love the design of Shieldred. I just don't like the, the Baneslayer Angel school design, where it's like the kind of card where if you can't kill it, you just lose the game, and if you can kill it, it's not good. I just don't like that kind of that kind of design for magic cards. Uh, is shoulder too good? No, I don't think so. Um, it's you know you're, it's a pretty ideal four drop mid range threat, uh, you know. But at the same time, I just like just don't like the design of it. Thoughts on Fable the Mirror Breaker? Should it be banned? Um, Fable is a card I love the design on, uh, despite it being like probably a little too good. God, Dahlia. Hell yeah, that's rude. Uh, because it it just does a lot of really good things, you know? Uh, I think that Fable's the exact opposite of Shieldred in that Fable smooths games out and is never oppressively annoying by itself unless you flip it and they can't kill it. That, that part's kind of annoying, I guess, but... All right, so is pretty good, pretty good here also. Their deck does just seem kind of good against ours, honestly. Wow. They're going to three mana go for the throat? And then discard a card? That is something. Alright, sure. So just, we're just playing Esper Legends. Uh, we're going to go... Land, Sispear, Trespasser, go... Thai is going to hold down the fort here a little bit. Give me the old conductor. Thank you. Like in the games where Fable is, is there, it's obviously insanely good. But you don't feel like you're just, you don't feel hopeless. Except for when they flip Fable and they have like a, you know, a, a, blood, a blood Scythe Harvester in play. Or whatever. And like you're playing a creature that can't kill it. That that part feels a little hopeless at times. But speaking of Harvesters, so they have Sword of Forge and Frontier for four mana. Nice Thalia deck. Just Thalia spell spell. Um... Okay. I'm just gonna, I guess, attack with the Trespasser and play the Harvester. I could, like, attack with Sister and bluff if they have a trick. Or bluff if they have a spell. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have all three, actually. Let's, let's see what they do. Let's see how they're feeling here. If they're feeling frisky or not. This comes back for two mana anyway, so. Alright, sweet. Push some damage. And then play Harvester. I'll return this thing to make it blood. Say go. I think playing myself for Springs was incorrect. There's no reason to play that land with the blood too. I'm gonna fire up a sword. All right. I mean, pro red, pro green. First, they're gonna attack. Inconceivable. Jack Fury, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome. All right. They hit Gix and a Ganjo. Obviously can't uh, channel a Ganjo here. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. Uh, it looks like they're just dying, honestly. Three, six, four. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh... Yeah, it's sure. Like, just gonna fable jam. Gonna block this spear, whatever. Attack. Exile. Like, if we're just racing. I'm pretty happy about it. So, what's up, Jack? How's it going, my friend? Fellow Long Islander, awesome. Are you going to the Long Island Tabletop Get Con? You're at five. I'm glad you drew some cards last turn. We'll hold this and say go. 
We have a lot of loots now, too, with the Fable, we have the Blood. This card's great. Big fan of this card. The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. Arena only gave me one card per pack. If you open multiple packs at once, it only shows you the rares. You open other, other cards too. Tapping four for Shieldred. Um, they're at five. Block, block. One, two, three, four. In theory, we have lethal here, so this is fine. Unless I can draw cards. Hmm, that's pretty good. Um, currently have no legends. Uh, I can channel, play that post combat, but I want to play it pre combat because of the Suspear. Just gonna discard this. They have two blockers. Block this and this. So lethal. Block these two. It's five. They don't even have a, a block up. So like they can't have a removal spell. Greedy. Oh, there it is. Paid off. Let's do this. Kamano, yeah. Dink. Adversary, yeah. Let me hear you, chat. Nice shieldred, I say to you. Knockout blow would have been devastating there. That would have been devastating. Uh, all right, game three. Game three. Game three. Game three. 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 Good. Good. I'm good. How are you? We're fine here. How are you? Cold fire. It's very cold in space. Oh boy. What's my access code? Three. All right. Game three. Marbles. Two. We can keep this. We, again, are missing a two drop for Kermano, but I mean, we can't not keep his hands. We're going to keep this, obviously. So. Uh, there's two drop too. Oh my god, this is perfect. Bingo. Black leaves. Kamano, Blood Tithe, Fable, Shieldred on curve. And this is what I was saying. Um Oh, you got me. I'm sorry, chat. I missed it. Who is this? What's your access code? Alright, very fair. You're, you're good, Chad. You got me. I I I I screwed up. I, I punted up my own reference. You got it. You got it. You got it. It's an older code, but it checks out. That's that's wrong though. That's a different movie. That's not the same. You can't. You, that's cross pollination. All right. Go for the throat. Sure. And this is what I was saying with this deck, where they ha they've had to use their go for the throat on my four three harvester, and now shoulders probably probably clear for takeoff. So. All right. That goes good. Flip this. Play Fable. Line up the old Shelly here. Boring conversation. Boring conversation anyway. Luke, we're going to have company. Who in chat remembers the You're the Man Now dog of Luke, we're going to have company, and it's like Luke and Han, like in the kitchen, like cooking or whatever? Anyone? Remember that? Anyone? Luke, we're going to have company. All right, we draw shoulder number two. Uh, okay. I mean, we're going to take a hit here, but I think we need to find some spells, so let's discard the non-shoulder cards. Ouchies! Alright. Uh, yeah, play shoulder stick up. Uh, 
Ah, yes. All right. The glory days of the internet. <laughs> Shoulder triggers. We have backup copy. We have fable. Uh, we have flipping fable, which is pretty good also. <laughs> You're the man now, dog. You're the man now, dog. Uh, okay, so the fear here is obviously the Wandering Emperor, which would be kind of a blowout. I don't think they make this attack otherwise. Yeah, alright, sure. You got me. Where did the internet go wrong? They had it perfect with the other man now dog, right? Should have just canceled the internet after that. Just no more internet. We're done. That's it. You're the man now, dog. Perfected it. We don't need to. We don't need to do it anymore. What's the card you hope to never see while playing this deck? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, they have four cards in their hand. Their deck does seem very good against ours. Uh, they have large-bodied creatures, Shieldred, Life Linkers, Rafine. You know, Harvest is pretty good actually. All right, so boom, boom. Flip the Saga. And now I can go Fable and Harvester. I'm going to really go wide here. The question is, if they attack with the, the Shieldred again next turn, do I have to block then? I think the answer is yes, because I want them to Emperor. Because now I want them to tap out so I can Reflection them. So, I actually like that a lot. Play this. Play this. And I'm going to say go with intent to block with Shieldred. Why is Suspiria? The best one drop, yeah. I think this deck just wants to take an aggressive stance. You know? Alright, we're blocking. So now we're, we're, we're snap blocking because we... Now we... This is very, very important. So like, Jim, why'd you block this turn and not block last turn? It's all about the context of the game. Last turn, if they played the Wandering Emperor and made the made the, the positive exchange for them, it was bad for us because they that's really good for them. Now... We specifically want them to tap out and not deal with Reflection plus Harvester. So we want them to cast Emperor. And if we trade, trading's fine too, because I obviously have a second copy of Children, so. Look who's here. Look who's here. Here you go. Oh, You're translating. Oh, come on, look who's here. Guys. Everyone say hi. Hi there. Hello, it's Baby. Oh no, they killed our reflection. Everyone say hi to Cassian. Hello. Cassian, you're feeling, you're looking chipper today. How are you doing, bud? Good morning. Good morning for Cassian? Good morning for Cassian. He's very happy. All right, we do Fable. We still have, have Shieldred. Our attacks still aren't great here, honestly, but we can play Shelly and say go, I guess. Everyone's ahead of Cassian. Hello, young. Look at his shirt. Look at his shirt. Aww. Baby token. <laughs> He's like, why is everyone looking at me? I didn't ask for this. Another Shelly. Just Shelly's for days. All right, sure. Can you draw go for the throw, please? That's pretty sweet, honestly. All right, we'll draw. He's like, why am I a token? What did I do to be a token? All right, so we're going to... Flip the Saga, and we're going to start by Blooding, I think. We just really want to find this removal spell. We have four Govan Throats in our deck. Draw Razor Lash. That's actually pretty good to discard to the Fable, so... Alright, uh... Let's play Fable and just say go. Now we're in a pretty awkward spot where... I should, I, should, I should probably just... I should have discarded this to blood, I think. I don't know, whatever. Now we're in a spot where, like, if they attack with the shoulder again, they also have the plaza, too, and it's hard to block, so... What's up, man? A fine skull clamp target? Chat's a monster, Cassian. They want to skull clamp you and draw cards. All right, so Shelly... John, John said 01 was an insult, and he should be a 1-2. All right, so here comes shoulder. Now they have the plaza... Do I chump block or do I, uh, I got chump block. Yeah, whatever. Sure. What? Karn in the background rubbing on your ball. Oh, there goes Karn. Yep. 
Whole family's here. Alright, so shoulder. Dog and baby. Land. Alright, so they now they have the plaza up. I think we're still in good shape here. We draw land. Awesome. Those triggers. Gain some life. Goober, what's your what's your daughter's name? Discard both. Suspear and Trespasser. Alright. I mean, we are going very, very wide here, and now our reflection's active also, which is huge, so. Let's play Trespasser, which can't target a graveyard anyway. And then we'll return the Razor Lash. I also want to be able to copy this shoulder, though. I should, I should play this. I'll just play Ace of Spear and then Sigo. I should actually blood. Maybe I should, I should, maybe I should blood it, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Sigo. So let's copy for a blocker, which is good. All right, so do that. And they're going to move to... Whoa! Oh, my God. They're lit. Hit the button. Hit it. Hit it. All right, so we're going to copy a Suspear. Try to make some blocks here. This is an aggressive attack. Go over the throat, targeting the Suspear. This feels needlessly aggressive. Um... I feel like their card might be a Ganjo. They have a Ganjo that can finish off the Shieldred. I type back for a lot, though. But it's pretty bad, honestly, all things considered. But what can I do, honestly? So, I don't think I afford to not block. Tense moment. Everything gets quiet. Did I call the Ganjo? I did. I did, unfortunately. Alright. So... Do I want to blood the... No, actually, I want this now, because now Denik is dead. So I get to gain life in the face of Shieldred, and also Reflection, too, so... I think we're still, like, okay here. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Little monster. Monster boy. Alright, so... We take two. We flip the saga. We trespasser. Eat. Eat the Denic. Copy it. Life gain here, very important. Eat the Yagmoth. And then we slam jam. With intent to block. Oh, should I have copied this actually? Uh maybe I should have actually. Uh, two, one. Yeah. Um, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're dead in two turns. Can I afford to take a hit off of, off of Shielder? I think I can, actually. Or I can just jump block, too. Yeah, this is fine. Talk like this. Eat my Sispear. Make a treasure. And say go. So, like, what's the worst that can happen here? Like, what's the, the literal worst best card they can draw? Like, the Wanderer, maybe? Cut down. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. They're at nine. They can't attack. All right. I'm going to blood. Down to nine, down to seven on our turn, but two draws coming. They have Plaza up still, which is annoying, but... God, double lands. Sick. All right. Um, we are going to... I think I like attacking with the Razor Lash and the Goblin. Because if this dies, it just comes back anyway. And then if I block the Goblin, whatever, honestly. And then I think we just Reflection Trespasser on their turn. They can't ward it either, so I like that. Let's swing. Are they dead? Oh, I said lethal. Hold on. Four, eight. Oh, they're just dead. They're just dead, aren't they? Uh, four, five. Block, block this, block this. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're actually just dead. That's ah, okay, whatever. Uh, do this. Chat lethal. You hear Vescassian? Chat lethal. Chat thinks they know everything. Chat's stupid. They don't know. They don't know anything. 
in or nothing. First rule of life, Cassian, to never listen to chat. Ever. Ever. Alright, and then we'll just go. Uh, locked up pretty good here, I think. I, I guess they could draw like a fair wall or something like that or whatever, but I think we're in good shape. It's true, but he shouldn't say it. Can't attack, and step copy this. Yeah, so. Copy this. It's a glutton. It's a 4 4. My graveyard's got. What do we got here? We got Blood Tithe Harvester Shieldred. You go to 5. Untap. I go to 5. Copy. Leroy attack. Yada, yada, yada. We're good, man. Don't worry about it. Yay! We draw Kamano also. It's fun. Kamano. Copio. Tight games though. Looks like a hard matchup too. Copy this. And this is kind of the draw the draw of this deck where like we're playing these aggro cards, but if the game gets bogged down, we can whip out the real powerful stuff like, you know, copying with harvester and so or copying with collection and stuff. Go to two. Attack with everything. Leroy Stinkins. Are you mad because I said you were stinky? Are you mad? Are you mad, Cassian? All right. First match goes to us. Good job, Cassian. Cassian has to come back. We're playing against Fifi Plays MTG. Look, it's Fifi. Cassian has like a little butterfly stuffed it's Fifi baby toy. The firefly. Fifi the Firefly. So in one of my mom's groups, somebody was like, that my kid loves this Fifi Firefly thing. You all have to get one. There's one for He boys. does love it. They go, there's one for boys too. It's like Freddy the Firefly. And I was like, all right. So I went on Amazon. I was looking at it. And it was like Fifi's this little pink firefly with little crunchy things. And Freddy was just yellow so for boys and i looked and freddie was six dollars more than fifi and i'm like this reverse pink tax thing that we got going here i'm like yeah. nah kid you're getting fifi yeah fifi freaking loves he fifi. loves fifi Fifi's his ridiculous best uh ridiculous underdog sure <laughs> freddie was out of our, our pay grade um and that's where we got captain calamari too what do we uh what do we kill this with Freaking Fifi. Fifi and Captain Calamari, his best buds. We're gonna, um. The reverse pink tax, exactly. We could scry for a third land. I think we wanna exile this too. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's fire face. Upstairs! No. Alright, cool. Cut down. Underdog in his prime. Cut down, sorry. Watch the reveal stream. What time is it? Flip the saga. This is going pretty good, right? Get an aggro here. Aggro crack. On one o'clock. We might do that, honestly. That might actually work out might, might, might work out perfectly, actually. That was a good turn. We are down a car because we shocked them, obviously, but they cut down back, but now our trespassers are gonna do some work. That's what they call a clean answer in the business, unfortunately. Hopefully they just play shoulder next turn. Yeah, Harlequin, the stake is not on the board anymore. I don't, I don't have any, any key space for it. Oh yeah. Woo! My plane. The aggro red deck that can kill a shieldred. You love to see it. Attack. Eat shieldred. Tasty. Mmm. Wow. Looks like there's a party in my mouth, and everyone's invited. She older it. Archfiend of the Dross. Okay. Uh, sure. Not a very good card to sit behind defensively, honestly. So there you go. So, oil counters. Trying to get that all. Oh, oh. Every turn, a counter goes away, and when all the counters are gone, you lose. And not a lot of proliferator. They're going to attack. Don't play Obliterator, please. Please don't. Are oh, we going to race? We're going to race? I guess no uh, creatures, but... 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, do it. Oh, God, do it. We were one short of lethal. Correction. We were one short of lethal. <laughs> Alright, so we need to make sure we can kill uh, Shieldred, maybe Obliterator possibly, bring the go for the throat, soul transfer. Um, I would say a Braid can go. And then Razor Lash is very bad here because they're monoblock, obviously. And Play of Fire is not great either. Don't want to bring in the Busters because they're like, like kill spells and stuff. I think so, actually. I think I'll bring the Busters to cut the Play of Fires. That does make our, our count for Bloodthirsty Adversary a little low. Let's actually get Shave. Uh... Hmm. I want the Busters. Let's shave an adversary and then play with fire. I also worried only have one play of one, one, one play of fire, but like it's just like my my extra removal spell. Um, I just got all these actually. Screw this, whatever. All right, so let's try this. So a little more grind with the bankbuster. Like I would love to have the three one, but like I just can't because they uh they don't have any uh, non basics. So red black is the dark side. This is the most unique red black deck. Like, we're playing Monastery Sysphere. You know, like, it's hard to be mad at this deck. Wow. All right. Uh, turn one, Skull Dweller. I did not see that one coming. Sure. Interesting. Makes me regret taking out my shocks, obviously. Yeah, sure, I guess. I do have a lot of freaking uh, trespassers. I mean, it's a good draft card. <laughs> That's very aggressive, All right? Sure. Land trespasser or fable? I like trespasser here. Sizing's better. It is a good answer to uh, Trespasser, honestly. It's a clean one for one exchange. You can have the damnation sleeves. Uh, obviously, no block, so. Sure. Assuredly killing it, so don't mind doing it in the upkeep. Draw Sulphur Springs. Or attack. Eat Shouldered. Being able to kill a Shouldered's nice. You know, like, it's definitely a nice place to be. Attack was weird there. Yeah, that was a pretty weird attack. Edict, sure. That is also a clean answer to the uh, Trespasser, but... God, they're so aggressive. They're relentless. Draw a fable. Um, I think we just trespass her again. We play him as land. Might be R actually, because we we um our flood insurance right now is double fable. So if I draw a land, I want a double spell. So let's do this. Just going nuts here. Just trying to get my glutton on, you know. Wow. Go for the throat. Discarding a land. No, it's going to cut down. They are aggressive. They're so aggressive. They want to poison me. That was the wrong button. How about another one? Alright. Here's Bankbusters. They go. The no attack with the founder is a little weird, honestly. They had a free attack, and actually, I'm sorry, I met up right. Never mind, it, was, it wasn't free. 
Crazy game, yeah. Just like all in on this one drop. What? Uh, I'm gonna crew. I'm sorry, let, 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 the war, let the war resolve first. They're literally just put themselves on zero cards. Our boy is insane. They are, they are crazy. Uh, bad shit crazy. You've never seen a Russian like this before. Ever. Maybe they're like, they're on a bet or something. They have to, they have to win the game with Infect. Alright, we draw land. Alright, so, just like double fable, I guess. Like. Alright. There you go. GLHF. I could crew and attack, but I don't want to be embarrassed by the stupid thing. I just want to die. I don't have to wait. Fifi, you're crazy. I guess if you spend all day like being eaten by a baby and thrown on the floor, you I'd be kind of crazy too. So all right, I'm gonna block. I'm gonna we're gonna call it. I'm done. I'm not losing to the skull dweller. They got. All right. One good turn is after another, I guess. All right. Decline. Decline. Shieldred. Draw. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And this is the draw of his deck, once again. Um, when your opponent plays an Obliterator or a Shieldred, you're playing Mono Red, you just, you just want to cry. But if you can just kill it, they aren't even good. So it's great. Draw before triggers. You're right. Good catch. Didn't matter, but you're right. I think it's probably better to activate. Once we, once we see the shoulders is our card in hand, we know we're casting it. Just draw a Bankbuster and see if we discard this. Good catch. Right. I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. Sure. Just strike the Obliterator. That'd be cool. All right, so... Flippy Flippies. Draw. No crew. I ain't blocking. So, fall ants. All right. Um. I don't think I want to land here. I'm just gonna say go. Oh, crew break. Crew the buster. Take the buster. Oh, good catch. Yeah, you're right. It's a creature with the uh, highest power, not mana value. You got me. Good catch. Could have sacked the bank buster and kept shouldered. Throatia? No! Game. Blouses. Cool! Alright. On the play. Uh, yeah, keep. Love it. There are wasps in my seat. That must be it. Kara, first time chatter says, not gonna lie, I was pulling for the Skull Dweller. I don't blame you, honestly. I can't say I blame you. Alright, tag for one. Play Harvester, stick up. Opponent's a crazy person. Grixis. Go for the throat. No land. It's not cool. Not cool, I say. Of raid attack. Need lands. Have go for the throat. Trespasser are also very good here. Don't play the yeah. Don't play that. Good. That's painful, honestly. The 3-3's three, three body is so relevant here, too. And we're draw land. No! No! I'm going to discard so spear because I think it's just not high, high impact enough. Let me draw land really bad, so. Let's have a throat. Let me draw land. Alright. Alright. 
I mean, a lot of these Grixis decks are going very light and shielded because it's just, like, not that good in the mirrors and stuff. I could try and kill this and get it for four. They go land shielded, though. I'm just pretty bad. I only have two other ways to kill it. Eh, whatever. Just do it. I'm in. I think that this game needs to end. If this game goes long, we're a dog. We're down, we're down four cards right now. So, they have it, they have it. it happens, you know. Uh, we have one creature, two creatures in bins, so... I'm all scared of make a spear, I suppose. Yeah, whatever, just cast this. Urtai! Mm -hmm. Diamond420 says, asking all favorite streamers what their favorite Planeswalker card is, and what their favorite Planeswalker character is. Do I have an opinion? Uh... Favorite Planeswalker? I don't know, honestly. I don't know if I have a really uh, good answer for you, honestly. I won the PC with Ugin, that's true. Um, I don't think Ugin's a very well-designed card. Karn? Oh, man, not again. God, Corpse Brace are so good. I do like Big Chandra a lot. I think I, think I mean character. Like, you know, Big Chandra is sweet. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of Big Chandra. I don't know, honestly. I don't really think about, I don't really think about cards like that. I don't know name Karn. I didn't name Karn. Chat named Karn. Angrath is a good one. Angrath, very metal. Bank Buster. All right. I guess we have the adversary for the uh, flashback on Go for the Throat. God, this is gross. If I, if I kill this, I just crew anyway. That's gross. Got one creature. And then two creatures. They're at nine. Alright, let's do this. No fire! No steel! Or eight. Alright. Um. Yeah. We're at 21. Can obviously just draw a card first, but we're like assuredly killing it. If they have make the spear, they want to sacrifice their corpse brazer. I have I've started to flash it back next turn, so I was like, guess this. Upkeep. Trigger. Adversary's kinda gas. This card's fun. All right, draw Buster, gains you life, cool. And we draw a play with fire. That's not bad, actually. Just stack. Each Yoldred, and now they block here. I play with fire them. If they don't block, I think I play with fire them anyway, so. Whoa, they blocked, we got them. I think Shelly might be getting close to the ban hammer. No. Shoulder isn't that good. Like, it's yes, it's very good if you're not prepared for it, but it's being cut from a lot of lists. Because in high level tournament play, you just don't lose to the card. Like, you just build your deck in a manner where you don't lose to it, you know, like. So. Horrible block. I mean, honestly, play of fire is a weird card to have. We we look like a, like a mid-range deck. A little, unexpected, a, little un a little unexpected there to have a card we can cast that's not our removal spell. So I don't think it's a crazy block, but our attack should like. You know, inform it obviously. They attack a Numa, but I ate the shouldered. Awesome. They can get an appraiser here. Can they cast that too? They cast it, they're dead. Because we have the adversary for the go for the throat. That's what I'm talking about. After it was all over, he took us in the house of service pancake. Take that Shelly. Razor lashes. Go for the throat. Soul transfer. We're gonna cut play with fires. A braid. I'm gonna shave an adversary. And then what else did we cut actually? What we cut, what we cut last time? Let me cut like we run the draw. What's up, Riley? First time chatter says, you're doing great, man. Aww. Thanks, appreciate it. You're doing great too. You picked a good stream to watch. And you're you're doing you're doing you're doing great. Um I can also just like cut two Swiss spears. We're on the draw. 
and they're like, you know, they're all right, they're not great. Uh, I wanted to go like full on on the draw. We cut all four Swift Spears and bring in the abs bring the adversary and the Bankbuster back in. Um, no, I want, I want the children again. The part, the point of our deck is we pressure their rule spells early, so shoulder will stick later. So I think shoulder, shoulder is actively very good in this deck, uh, better than it is in, in mid range decks because you force the removal early. Let's try that. Let's cut the spears, oops, and bring in Buster's on the draw and leaving the adversary. So we'll be a little bigger on the draw, and then on the play you can be more aggressive again, obviously. So, Spotting, you're doing great too. All right, everyone's doing great. Everyone's out there doing their best. You know, that's all I ask. Every format. What are you talking about, Diamond? Uh, keep. This chair. I gotta fix this chair. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's really, really uncomfortable. Uh, Black Leaf Cliffs, your turn. Uh, oh, Fable. Fable's very good, yes. Awesome, Dark Bruce. It's great. Alright. Um, we busting or are we harvesting here? Busting is bad against cut. I mean, harvest is bad against cut down. I want a buster, I think. Dagger four next turn. No wasps, actually. Yeah, there's no no wasps. Evil of the mirror breaker. All right, so I think I like trespasser here. Just, I'm sorry. If I, if I crew a trespasser, I've cut down also. I got cut down here. It kind of sucks to cut down half their fable, but I think we just gotta do it. I wonder, you know what? I think that, um, I think that the shock is just better than cut down, right? Why, when is cut down ever better than shock in this matchup? I don't think it is. That's best bad sideboard on my part. What's up, Optimator? Discarding a corpse appraiser. Do they have another corpse appraiser? Because that would suck. All right, uh, it's dead. Five cards in hand. Oh, come on. What took so long? That was a great turn. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. All right, so they appraise in me. They draw on a card. They mill over two lands. All right. We draw a cliffs. Sure. I think I should want to blood here. Let's play, um... Just blood. Let's start by bloody. What about the cliffs? Draw Fable. I think I want a Trespasser, though. We've got one creature and zero creatures. Turns off a future appraiser. Cruise Bankbuster. Eat this. I think we're in. I think we're the beat down here, so. I like how the uh, the Buster's more like a beater in our deck than a card draw thing, but next year we can go Fable and draw. We have Soul Transfer also with the Fable, which is pretty cool. We Buster and Soul in this. Not cool. Yeah, pretty good hand for them, unfortunately. We'll be more aggro in Game 3, though. I think we'll be alright. They're just gonna leap back the appraiser like a freaking coward. Wow. Wow. Draw a card. Shelly! Trespasser. Alright. Uh, land Fable go. Next turn we can soul transfer, kill the reflection, and return my trespasser, and then cast it too. What do you think of deck still playing Invoke Despair? The card's good, but, um, you know. Oh man, they got the Harvester too. Gross! F 
four cards left. Yeah, this game might be uh, might be hitting the old dusty trail here. Hey, great. So I want to cast Soul Transfer. I want to cast the Trespass from the Graveyard. Shoulder Harvester is also a good turn. I guess the Trespasser from the Graveyard doesn't actually block anything that well. I'm sorry that this thing blocks, though. I'm going to do nothing. This is fine. Alright, so both modes. Eat this. Return this. Don't counterspell me, breh. so long come on all right that's right next game that's fine no worries uh game three on the play we're gonna bring him bring back in the sister spears bring in the play of fires cut the cut downs cut the bank busters um why is that so many cards two two three four we don't need all of these i guess and then anything else we would like to change here so let's cut two cards Maybe we shave an adversary and shave a eh. testing for regionals. Not like directly testing for regionals, but I do have the regionals and the pro tour coming up. So playing standard is a good thing for me to be doing. Just streaming content, entertaining, doing my thing. Yeah, I'll call I guess, whatever, sure. Um, this is fun. Travis. Take out some lands. Mana bears, reset, thanks so much. Oh, the play. Uh, yeah. Interesting hand, actually. Because we... I guess they can't cut this down. This is good, we keep this. I was just like, what's our, what's our sequence here? I think it's Kamano. It's Kamano on one, Harvester. Make a 4-3 make Harvester. They can't cut it down. They want to go for the throat it, sure. It's fine. Ooh. Is Razor Lash better? That does a lot of damage. Um They also can't they also just can't kill it. Right? They can't they can't go for the throat either. I'm gonna cast Razor Lash. This card's great here. Alright, it's real good. This guy here does your list say Joseph Karani? It, but the, the name of the list is just the, the person who played it in the tournament. So, yep, they came in fourth at the uh, at the RC. I mean, we are getting in this turn. We are getting freaking. We are. We are doing it. Wow, it's like there's a party in my mouth, and everyone's invited. We got a graveyard here. That's your good friend. Well, congrats to them on doing well in the RC. Not decks on the internet. The Suspear Harvester or Trespasser here? I think we Suspear Harvester. So they have a, they have a make spear. I want this thing to live, so. Tagging for seven on turn three on the play is pretty good. Send it. Wow, okay. They could kill it, actually. That's fine, though. Obviously, it comes back. So, I, I, I think I'm very happy with our sequence there. We got them to kill the creature that comes back from the graveyard. We're getting in. We're going nasty here. Hope they don't have a Brother's War. What am I going to do? They got it. They got it. We got good follow-up plan. Good recursive element. They got the old Harvester. All right. So, we are going to draw Black Cleave Glyphs. We just kill and attack, I guess, and eat it. Oh, little little note, little, little, little anti synergy here actually. Edgy's a Kamano is very bad with Graveyard Trespasser. That's awkward, but fine. Play this. 
Oh wait, I'm sorry, never mind, just kidding. I lied, it's not damage. Good to go. Off to the races, Rakdos aggro. Getting her done, coming in. You are down to 12 life points. The next land you play returns my Razor Lash. Corpse Appraiser? No! It does talk that, like, this is the tech card against them, but, like, they obviously have the appraisers, but whatever, sure. All right, we spell. Need a spell. Almost ease. Resup. Thanks so much. There's a swamp. Here's Takanuma. Uh, yeah, I just need a good spell here, I think, so. Discard the land and draw a... Land. Cool. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to offer the trade here because we can't do anything else, so... Eat this. 11 block. And now, like, if they play a new, new appraiser, we can talk to Numa and remove a target, which is kind of cool, so... I guess just the, we got that going for us, I suppose. Clear back? Uh, no. There's no clear back. Elite twos. Only opaque colors. Land five. Invoke despair is not very good here. Parasitic grasp is very good here. These are both humans too. All right. This one's getting dicey, folks. Here's a fable. Channel. Give me a big one, please. Heh, that was actually gas. We return the Razor Lash? Sick. So let's get the Trespasser. And let's jam. And then we're going to... We'll Trespasser, I think. Trespasser exiling our own Harvester. And then we have Razor Lash up. We say go. So we have a 4-2 and a 3-3. Three, three. It's pretty good, honestly. Yeah, almost easy. They have inner sleeves, which are obviously transparent on both sides. You can just use those as sleeves if you want. Discarding only one card, it's Odawara. So they like their hand, they're saying. Corpse Appraiser. Uh, and there's only one target, so... I'm oh, sorry, there's two, actually. Never mind. I missed the uh, Swifty. All right, so take a look. Do I think the RC standard, RC in San Diego and the PT Minneapolis revitalized standard? Yeah, I think that if you have actual events and formats, people will want to play them. <laughs> like it's as simple as that, right? If you build it, they will come. If there's no place to play standard, no one wants standard deck. But if you're playing in a Pro Tour and an RC and F and M's and all sorts of stuff, people will want it. So it's it's not rocket science, you know. Razor Lashes here. This card's so good. Gingerbread reset, thanks so much. Oh, good, good follow-up too. Alright. Uh Leroy. We're actually out of creatures, unfortunately, though. Do I want to trade here, actually? I think I do. If I don't trade. Yeah, I'll just die, whatever. Like. It's not ideal, but. If I don't trade, they can, like, block here, play a new one, eat the Razor Lash, yada, yada, yada. So just, like, just keep jamming. Where different the ladder is from a tournament meta for standard? That's just magic. You know, if you go to a random FNM or you go to a random ladder game, it's going to be different than playing at a high level, for sure, you know, so. Play Fable. Harvester. Make disappear. Whatever. Do your thing. Whatever. See if I care. Huh? Huh? Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Hmm? You're not caro. They're going to abrade the Razor Lash. So, the big question is, do they have another appraiser? 
They've already played two of them. Third appraiser here to eat my Razor Lash would be very bad for us. They don't have it. Life is good. Life is good. Um, We're going to keep this. We are giving them priority to kill my harvester response here, but if they but like, why wouldn't they have killed it on my turn? They're gonna Urchai. I might have punted here. Yeah, I should just kill this reflection. That's stupid. I I played bad. Um That's it. I'm going to clone So like I didn't need to give him a chance to uh like, obviously, they could have done it on their turn, but, like, it, this makes a lot of sense. So, they had a kill spell. They would have just killed my Harvester on their turn, right? Why let me untap and activate it? But Urtai makes sense because they want to counter a Shieldred off the top. But if it's not Shieldred, then they're happy killing the Harvester. So, I got punished pretty hard there. Which is fine. Um, we'll attack with our token. Make a treasure. We have Razor Lash. We have Sif Spear. Now, they have an active reflection, though. So if I draw a Harvester next turn, we're in big trouble, and I might just throw the game away. So we'll see. We'll see if we get punished or not. Play 50. Have Razor Lash. Say go. Honestly, I might be wrong to play this, too, honestly. Maybe I should just, uh, just blooded it and look for, a new, look for another card. Oh, that is true. They could have countered the ability with Urtai. That's also true, sure. They had, they had the kill spell, too. What is going on? Jeez. All right. Taco Tuesday, don't, don't be... Don't be... Lame, my chat. All right? Come on. Anyway. Raid! Axe, thanks so much. Uh, Go. Goes to Day. They had the kill spell also, but they could count on the ability, too. So, yes, I guess we were... We were either way. Invoke Despair. So, the question here is, would I rather just sack the Sispear and have a Transmo in play, or, like, just bring back Transmo next turn? I think I want to just attack them and kill them, honestly. So, why couldn't I kill their Fletcher response to the Urtai? Because it's a sorcery, sorcery, sorcery speed, speed only ability. Um, yeah. This is... Fine. Too tilted, too many control decks, can't play anymore, need a break? I mean, always take a break if you need it. Magic, for sure. Alright. There you go. Razor Lash, back in the game. Draw. Go for the throat. Not bad. Alright, you're up. I mean, go for the throat can kill the reflection in response to anything relevant. Otherwise, we can just kill Shield if I draw that. Fable. All right, we're gonna kill the uh, reflection, I think. Get out of here! Get off my plane! Swifty, gone. Find a better card, please. How about another razor lash? That'd be sick. Fable's good. Attack. Do you wish to go to one, my friend? Would you dare to go to one? Ooh, that's that's nasty. All right, sure. All right, up to eight instead. Never mind. Play Fable. Bring this back. Say go. Discard a land. It's a tight game, honestly. Their top deck potential is much higher than ours, obviously. Because their card quality is higher. Invoke Despair again? I think this time I'm going to stop sacking the Razor Lash. Is there an 8? I don't want to be able to block this too, I think, so. This card's killing it for us right now. We would not be in this game without, without Razor Lash. Wow. Right. Go for the throat. Take the trade. So you go. 
We get an answer to Shouldered. A threat. They're at eight. They cycle. We played an LD deck to start out today. Mono White Ponza won the RC. Alright. Razor Lash in. Unsap. Draw. Damn it. Blood. Do it. Let's go. I actually like, don't want to cast it. Um, we know their hand is not currently beating our board. Make disappear, go for the throat, both likely cards they could have. Like, actual worst case scenario would be play Shouldered, they either make a spirit or counter it. They kill a Transmor Transmorgant, untap, and then uh, exile it somehow. I guess they go. Just like their hand can't be much else. It's either nothing or an answer to Shouldered. So we can just wait, I think. It's like, oh, land, sure. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Poor, predictable Bart. Always takes rock. All right. That was uh that was pretty cool, honestly. I gotta say that deck it looks a little hokey, uh, but ended up playing out well, pretty good. Let's take a look at the uh the old untap.gg. A 3-0 run again. Hopping over. Boom. There it is. Now an untap for yourself. Track all your games just like this for free. Use the link in chat, please. They just sponsor me. And um I like it, honestly. I think that the uh the, the good Rakdos cards that slant aggressive play a lot better in this deck. Uh, Old Swifty wasn't, like, the most impressive card, but Kamano's is great, obviously. Um, I almost wouldn't mind main decking through the, through the Razor Lash guys, because, like, the camp block part isn't as relevant in an aggressive deck. It's just, like, good to discard, too. Discarding it's a Fable, discarding the Blood's super cool, too. Deck sweet. I like it. That's the deck. YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Stream folks don't go nowhere. We're going to keep playing.